the current 1-0 lead as we're about to hit the 20th minute. It's just so great to know that, you know, these powerful and beautiful and amazing women almost are, you know, we're making a stand for other women leagues and teams. Let's go! I just thought it would be cool for them to be a part of history and get to see the current open the new stadium and, and be a part of it. We just need to get it out of this corner. I don't think they know the significance of it now, but one day they will, and I think that's really cool. I mean, they've got their own pro soccer girls right here in their own town. But it is, it's been huge for equity and inclusion. Huge. It's a lot of fun. I'm like, I've never seen professional women, so this is like really cool. Come on, come on, clear it. Let's go. Oh, I think she was open. It is a little bit nostalgic. I, I would say that, but I'm just so excited for the new stadium. I think it's like amazing, especially for women. Like, just representing that, like, I think it's so cool. Oh my gosh, that was close. We chose, we chose. We went to all different games and we chose women's soccer because these women are tough. These women are tough and awesome, so I think it's great. Welcome back to KMBC 9 Chronicle. The journey to this moment here at CPKC Stadium bridges the gap between generations of athletes. Young girls just getting their footing on the pitch, following in the footsteps set for them decades ago. Quick drink if you need one. All the balls outside. Inside Olathe's home field. Okay, we got blue versus yellow. Let's go blue right here on this side. Let's go yellow here. Play. Girls are on the turf in training. Freeze, freeze, freeze here. And they are unstoppable. Finish, finish. Nice. This is the scissor where you go around with the ball and you kick it the other way. Being out on the pitch on game day. It's like, like butterflies in your stomach, kind of. Every emotion. Maybe scared. Are excited. Their dreams big. I want to be a professional soccer and once I get um, old enough and I retire from soccer I'm gonna be a soccer coach. I want to be a professional soccer player when I grow up. 30 years ago we might have thought how cute and no way but someone made a way. Americans like winning teams and right now we've started the tradition so hopefully the men can follow. Arguably, in women's soccer, she's the greatest of all time. Michelle Akers, on the first U.S. women's national team in 1985, Olympic gold medalist in 96, a first. Akers played in the first FIFA Women's World Cup in 91, 95, and 99. Three years later, she was named FIFA Female Player of the Century. It's the beautiful game. It's like what Pelé said, it's the beautiful game. It's, it's in so many ways, it hit, it hit me in every area of who I was. It wasn't all easy. They put me in as goalkeeper because I was just fearless and, um, you know, competitive and scrappy and and then we lost every single game like, you know, 9-0 and so I cried after every game. It was like horrible, worst experience. The losing part, then it was out of the net and on to more wins. Yeah, that coach recognized, what the hell is she doing in goal? No, she's not a goalkeeper. Put her in the middle of the field and let her run, right? So then that was where I really fell in love with it. A new position on the pitch, Michelle came across a new challenge off the pitch. The first female soccer player with the shoe deal, Akers had to fight to wear the shoes she was the face of. I said, well, I'm wearing my Umbro shoes now. And so U.S. Soccer tried to say, no, you can't. You have to wear these other shoes. And I was like, no. So it became a whole thing. But ultimately, it, it you know, it changed everything. More work needed to be done. The president of FIFA, was saying that he wanted women in you know shorter shorts and how you know going for the sex appeal and we're gonna have a size four ball for women because women couldn't possibly kick a size five ball which is the normal size for adults. A woman in professional soccer surrounded by men making decisions and it wasn't just the people on the inside. I had r reporters and media asking me, D is my husband okay with me playing? Oh. Yeah, and um, how does this affect m my menstrual cycle? And can you sh have babies? What Acres could do and was compelled to do, stand up and step up. For a, a female athlete, you have to fight the, for the equality issue but and play. And you have to 
win all the World Cups and every Olympic gold medal. Akers did her part, then others were there to receive the pass, carrying on Michelle's fight for equality in soccer. This is just such a monumental step forward. In February of 2022, women finally reached an agreement to be paid the same as men in soccer doing the same job. That monumental moment, overwhelming. It was just like a wave of emotion, like, like sadness and immense like joy and celebration, relief, um, just exhilaration and pride. And, um, and then I got pissed. I was like, what the hell? Like, what, what the hell? You know, because why did it take so long? Why is this so hard? Still seeing this, CPKC Stadium, the first in the world built especially for a women's professional sports team, the KC Current. This is going to ripple effects all over the world. Yeah. Like, Akers knows everything, even effect. those losses were worth this win. It's the visual representation and the physical location of the first stake in the ground dedicated to women's Soccer. While it's Should hard for the little like ones to truly combat, get the magnitude of this out. moment. What's the purpose of our forward stand up here? Someone to pass to. These girls understand what's been passed to them and that the women responsible should be honored in every play. It's girl power because showing how far they got and so you can just lead in their, they can just walk in their footsteps so it can be easier. You don't want to just like throw all their hard work away and just like forget about it. You want to like use it, like take your chances while you get them. Akers couldn't agree more. History has to be remembered and told and felt and relived um, in current day because, especially for women, because we have to remember how hard we have worked, how much sacrifice was given. But she says it can't stop there. It can't stop here with this stadium, with just women or with women's soccer. We all have to do it in every way and then come, come together to raise the bar and, um, and and have that mentality that this is a collective issue and a collective empowerment. And don't forget where we came from. This, this change has to keep going. Next, on a pitch fit for a queen. It really shows that if you put your money where your mouth is, people are gonna show up. Casey Current fans craft a clear message. This specific one is kind of uh, to show the start of our journey to our permanent home. They're all in. Anyone who knows Kansas City sports fans, we are some of the most passionate fans in the world. The team has a similar approach. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. You see the signs of support on every street and hidden where you least expect. Any excuse to play bingo, but especially when we have guests. Ready? They're lending a hand to every generation. KC, baby. See the Teal Town tributes ahead on KMBC9 Chronicle.